All right, fellas. I'm gonna be using some Staysil 45 to do some brazing. We're doing stainless steel to steel. And I recently learned that you don't wanna use a phosphorus rod when you're working with steel. It just won't accept it very well. So I had to pick up this high dollar stuff here. This is like 30 bucks for this, what is it, five rods I think it is. So pretty pricey stuff. Definitely high dollar. I gotta be careful with this joint. The problem with doing a braised joint like this is you gotta be careful not to scorch the stainless steel because the stainless steel is a smaller thickness so it's going to immediately present all kinds of problems and it's going to want to get scorched so we never want that to go above like a, a pink color they say as far as cherry red as soon as it starts to get cherry red it'll start receiving metal if you get it yellow, if you get stainless steel yellow, forget about it. And from what I've seen in the past, you, you'll have to clean it up to get it to take a braise after that point. So you gotta be careful. It's gonna be a tricky joint. We'll see how this goes. I'm gonna do like uh, Casey at Welding Tips and Tricks and just really gob this stuff on there. If anyone knows how to do it, he would. And I've never seen someone use more flux in my life than that guy. <laughs> so, hey, I'm down. All right, uh, we're going with the acetone infused oxyhydrogen on this. I'm just gonna run this thing full power. I'm tired of it. I ain't got time, man, I ain't got time. We'll have to let that flow. I'm also gonna preheat the base metal here with a propane torch. Cause this thing's gonna soak up a lot of heat. Crap, I don't have enough flux. Bad timing. Oh, hell with it. a little dead spot there I'm really asking for it not having even more than that there we go we're getting some color change there Going blue, 600 degrees. Okay, it's time to pay attention to what I'm doing here as I'm dropping everything. See how I'm getting that stainless red, but this ain't hot yet that's dangerous we don't want to be doing any of that right now Let me get some more flux ready just in case I like to use my rod to apply the flux okay that body's getting red down there I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera but the top ain't getting red yet I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of rod to that stainless before I lose it because it looks like I'm about ready to lose it. Oh wow, the whole joint went right on. Oh, that's some nasty stuff. Beautiful. No wonder it costs so much, it's made out of gold. So I don't know if I trust this one right here. I almost want to add a little bit more metal to it. Let's do it. Let's 
These things do need a little bit of structural beef to them. I'm probably totally blocking the camera. Okay, that looks good. I gotta do that eight more times. Okay. Set that on the old aluminum tray there. They recommend spraying it now to get the flux off, but this is a dissimilar metal, and I ain't gonna do that with a dissimilar metal. You do not wanna be messing around with heavy expansion and contraction with dissimilar metal joints. It will crack and separate. I've seen a lot of that in my day. There we are, soaking all that flux off. And I'm watching a little A-bomb while I'm waiting. This guy's awesome. I'll go ahead and start with the 